Good evening. It's been one week since a mob of hooligans trashed and vandalized Vancouver after the Canucks lost the Stanley Cup. In one of the more disturbing attacks, a good Samaritan trying to prevent looting was beaten outside the Bay Department store. A young UVic student rushed to his aid, and tonight we're hearing his story. Kristen Robinson reports. One week after he intervened to help the victim in a brutal beating, UVic student Dean Seskin returns to the scene of the ugly attack, wearing the same Canucks jersey. Still got mace on it, but whatever. I mean, I guess it's got history to it now. Yeah. During the riot that followed the Canucks Stanley Cup loss, Seskin spotted this good Samaritan trying to prevent looters from breaking into the bay. 36-year-old chef Robert McKay was soon swarmed by several hooligans and knocked to the ground, where he suffered bruised ribs and was sprayed with mace. I didn't hesitate. I just kind of ran in. I was like, this has to stop now. The 18-year-old, who was interning at a law office a block away, donned a gas mask he'd found on the ground and rushed in to fend off the mob and check on McKay. I guess like I wasn't thinking, but that was, I guess, the right thing to do. So I didn't hesitate. I mean, I just kind of ran in because... You know, you never know if someone's going to get seriously hurt or killed or on the ground. I mean, they hadn't stopped until we had jumped in. Seskin and another good Samaritan are seen in YouTube video pulling McKay up and leading him away from the mob. Quite surprising, and uh, to see uh, Dean do that, to do to see anybody uh, do that kind of act. The UVic instructor who taught Seskin world history inside this classroom is proud of his young student and says his role as a good Samaritan is very much in his character. It's always nice to see uh, some of your own students obviously do some good uh, in, in all that, that chaos that happened to, to actually know a dean personally, uh, you know, it sort of uh, restored my faith uh, in Vancouverites. The young law student hopes the rioters who haven't been caught or outed yet, including McKay's attackers, face criminal charges and stiff fines. It has to be proven that if you try to do something like this, it's not going to go down well and you're not going to get away with it. So set an example while you can because also the public is going to see this. You know, the public will be like the cops and everyone are doing what they have to do to try these people. And that's what they need to do. They need to make sure that everyone gets an example that you're not going to get away with rioting. Meantime, Seskin and the other men who intervened met McKay again last weekend. They're my heroes, right? They, they saved my life. 